Island Fever is actually first a webcomic that I wanted to make into a cartoon. And I didn't really think about making a game for it, but I was introduced to augmented reality and it was a new way to bring the characters off the page and into the real world. It's literally the best of everything because you're able to have the characters exist as if they're real. It literally changes the game for storytelling. And with Unity, you're able to create all this all in one package using a whole bunch of different softwares that allow you to render things in real time. And so think of this as part comic book, part animated series, part video game, and part immersive experience. As a digital creator, that is the most empowering thing because I don't have to compromise. I could literally take any idea that I have and I could incorporate this into the project and you experience it the way I intend you to experience it. Life goes up and it goes down. In this video, I will show you how I was able to create a variety of augmented reality experiences for my app, Island Fever Augmented Reality with Unity Game Engine. And so what we're talking about is really how to set up a scene with Unity and Vuforia by creating a scene template for a variety of augmented reality experiences using Unity and the Vuforia SDK. And so this could be either ground plane or image tracking. At the end of this video, you have an understanding of the basics of augmented reality and how it works with Unity and Vuforia SDK. How to create a scene template for augmented reality with Unity and Vuforia. First, open Unity, create a new scene, download the Vuforia SDK from the website, import the package into the project, agree to all the boxes and wait for it to import, open the Vuforia configuration settings and add the license key. In the Vuforia license manager, select get basic license, name it and select confirm, select the license, copy the code and paste it in the project. In our scene, add an AR camera, delete the main camera, create an empty object for a ground plane and another for image tracking. In the ground plane empty, add a plane finder and ground plane stage. Add the ground plane stage to the plane finder anchor stage and uncheck duplicate stage. Under ground plane stage, add an empty for AR content. Under image target, add an image target game object and add an empty for AR content. Save it as a scene template. Give it a title, description, and preview image. Go to the scene menu to see the AR template scene and voila. That is how you create a scene template in Unity and Vuforia for augmented reality. And so I was able to create this by first understanding how AR works. Augmented reality is overlaying digital content over the physical world using a mobile camera, a variety of sensors, and real-time rendering. We all know what our cameras are, but the sensors are from our camera phone and LiDAR and infrared, and then the real-time rendering comes from the game engine. And so you'll see that there's a variety of development software, whether it's Unity, Lens Studio, Spark AR, and how you build out augmented reality experiences is you first either can create an AR application using a standalone real-time rendering engine, or you can push to an already made AR enabled application. And that's usually a third party application like Instagram or Snapchat. Even when you have your own standalone AR application, it's going to be on a mobile device. And then you're going to use your device's camera to instantiate or start or have that experience. That's where the sensors are. And so you look at a surface that you want to augment and it could either be the ground, it could be image targets, which are pictures, or it could even be your face, and then you experience that augmented world. And so it's combining the digital world with the physical world 
in this seamless experience that you can see on a screen and you could share with your friends. And so when you're talking about building AR experiences, it's all about first understanding what is the experience you want to create? Does it involve animation? Does it involve music? Does it involve art? AR experiences are umbrella terms for a variety of different things that often come from other industries. And so once you have your idea of an experience, you go to figuring out what development platform you want to use. Whether it's Unity Game Engine, Spark AR, Lens Studio, or any other web platforms that you might find on the internet like Art Artivive. Once you have your AR experience developed in a development platform, then you're going to want to uh, export it to a platform. And so with the Unity Game Engine, you could export it to Android as an APK. If you're going for iOS, you can do the Xcode and iOS build pipeline. Or with all the third party ones and the web apps, you would actually just submit it to the platform and you would have to await for their approval. And so as you can see, as you're up at the top with Android, all you need to do is just build to an APK, a file, and then you can just install it. But with Xcode and iOS, you have to use Xcode in order to get it on an Apple device. For the other ones, you just have to wait for them to approve it and you have to meet their guidelines. And so when we're talking about distribution, so you have your experience, it's built and you're trying to have it shared with other people, right? With Android, you can just bypass the distribution and you can just go straight to the device or you can go to the Google Play Store and submit it to the Google Play Store for others to find it on the App Store and download it. When it comes to iOS, the only way that you could get applications on iPhones and iPads in terms of distribution is if you go through the App Store. So you have to submit to an App Store. There's ways around that, but we're not going to talk about that because, you know, they're, it's hit or miss sometimes. It's not necessarily scalable. But then if we're talking about going from Spark AR, you have to get approval and then you're able to experience it on Facebook and Instagram. With Lens Studio, you get approval and then you experience it on Snapchat. And then all the web platforms, you get approval and then you'll have it on their third party applications. And so when we're talking about devices for Android, it's the smartphone or a tablet. For iOS, it's the iPhone or the iPad. And with the third party applications, it can be either a smartphone an iPhone or an iPad. And so ultimately it comes down to having a mobile device for AR experiences. There's ways to do that with headsets, but those are often pretty cost prohibitive. And in terms of development, they're really limited. And so the pros of going the Unity development route in and going with an Android based development workflow is that you have full control over the distribution and the development you don't need any approval, but the con is that you're responsible for almost everything in that development process. The pros of going with iOS is that you have full control over the development, but the con is that you must build with an Apple device and you must use the Apple App Store for distribution and it requires approval. And so that's, it's, you have full control, but you have limitations. When it comes to the third party workflows, the pros is that it's really easy to distribute and it's the most accessible. A lot of people have Snapchat and Instagram and it will be guaranteed to work on their devices. And you don't have to go through an app store. The con is that it requires approval and the tools can be limited in terms of development. And so when you're not working in the Unity game engine, you're not necessarily able to create the type of experience that you want to create. But you're able to share these experiences very, very easily once you finish them. And so what is the AR development pipeline? So first you have your 3D animation and augmented reality and all these plugins and everything. 
uh, you'll have the SDK, you have the 3D animation, and then you'll have your game engine. And so you pretty much use the game engine to combine the 3D animation and the SDK. And then you build to a device, which can be a smartphone, iPhone, Android phone, anything like that. And then once you have that experience built, you're able to put it on a device and experience that augmented reality situation. And so you have the content, you have the engine, you have the device, you have the experience. That is how it works. And so you may have heard me mention AR SDKs. AR SDKs are developer kits that are for augmented reality. Out of the box, Unity doesn't do a lot of AR stuff, but it's capable of doing that when you essentially add a plug into it to improve its capabilities. And so some of the common AR SDKs for Unity or in general are AR Core, which is Google's AR development kit. We have AR Kit, which is Apple's AR development kit. We have Vuforia, which is uh, a very high yield, easy to use, uh, cross-platform developer kit. And the pro of this one is that it's, it's easy to use. It requires minimal coding knowledge and it's the best for image targets. And it can test with the webcam and they change their licensing now to where you're able to add to the app store free. And it works for older devices that aren't available for pre AR and kit and AR core. The con is that it can be limiting for experienced developers. And so if you want to do some out of the box advanced stuff, you may not be able to do this with Vuforia as easily. AR Foundation, which is uh, Unity's sort of in-house AR SDK, which actually uses AR Core and AR Kit uh, as a basis. It's, it's really good. It's free. It supports all Unity features and you can build these robust experiences uh, and you're not limited to just AR. You could do VR and MR as well. And it works for all modern devices that support AR core and AR kit. The problem is that the image targeting is not that great and it requires robust coding knowledge and you must test on a device. So unlike Vuforia, you cannot test with the webcam on this. Easy AR is very similar to Vuforia. The problem is that it's more expensive and it has a lot of features that uh, often you probably won't end up using. Lightship, which is the AR SDK from Niantic, the big pro about it is that it has multiplayer AR features built in, and that's really, really great, but it is still in beta. The interesting thing about it is that the biggest innovation from Lightship is that it's what is being used for Pokemon Go. And so if you love Pokemon Go and you want to have those features in your app, I would definitely check out Lightship. Unfortunately, it does require a lot of coding knowledge, and so Vuforia is probably the easiest. Lightship is probably on the harder end. And then AR Foundation is also probably on the harder end. OpenCV, that one is open source compared to the other ones. OpenCV, it, it does have a price, but that price is you pay it once and you have it forever. Uh, but it does require a lot of coding knowledge and there isn't a lot of support for it. But if you're experienced enough as a developer, you can pick it up and, and make some really great stuff with it. And so now let's get on to building out our scene. So we're going to construct an augmented reality template scene with the Unity game engine and Vuforia. And so we're going to choose a build platform. We're going to install the Vuforia SDK. We're going to add the license. We're going to create a new scene, defeat the main camera and add an AR camera and then add empty AR containers for our content. And so with that, we're going to apply what we learned with an activity. And with those key steps that I just mentioned, give it a try, post in a reply or a comment to let me know how it goes. Without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, so we have our open Unity scene right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene and we'll call that AR template. And we're just going to open that scene. 
Then we're going to go to the website called Vuforia. We're at the developer.vuforia.com website, and this is where you get the Vuforia engine or the SDK that we'll download. You just go to downloads, go to add engine. We'll just log in, agree, and we'll save it in a folder. Once it completes, we go back to our Unity project and we'll go to assets, import package, custom package. We'll find where we put our ARSDK and we'll add it. We want to import it. Click update. And the way we'll know that it successfully installed is you go to window and you'll see Vuforia configuration right there. So what we'll do is we'll click that and we'll go to add license. When you add a license, you're going to go and say, get basic license. Install it. So deep dives, name it, click confirm. Now we have our license. You go ahead, select it, copy the code, and then we will paste it in our license right there. And so there's a variety of different settings that we could go through, but let's not worry about that right now. And so we'll go back to our AR template here. And the first thing you want to do is right click, go to Vuforia engine, add an AR camera, and then we want to delete the main camera. Next thing we want to do is we'll just create a couple of empties. So this one will be ground plane AR and then another empty for image target AR. And so with our ground plane target, what we're going to do is we're going to do this for all of the stuff that doesn't require images. And so we'll go to ground plane, we'll go to plane finder, and then we'll go to ground plane or Vuforia engine again, ground plane, and then ground plane stage. And in the plane finder, you notice how it says anchor stage. We'll just go ahead and click that little button and choose a ground plane stage. And then we also want to turn off duplicate stage because we only want to have one instance. And so now that we have that, we can go through and create another empty within our ground plane stage. And we'll call that AR content container. And so that is where all of our AR content is going to go. And so with this one, image target AR, going to right click, go to Vuforia engine and choose image target. And so now that we have that, you want to make sure it's from image and then everything else should be good. And so then we'll go through and the same thing, we're going to do AR content container like that. And so now we have our situation where we have a scene capable of doing image target AR or ground plane AR. And with the ground plane AR, you could tell that it's ready because there is a scene right there. And then you could tell that there's image target AR because there's an image target right there. Perfect. So now, we could go through and say save scene as template or save as scene template. And we could say AR Vuforia AR template like that. And so now we have a template that we can create a lot of different things from. Now we could say Vuforia engine, all these different things are going to be great. And then in the title, we'll say Vuforia AR 
some template. And we'll say this scene template is used to build AR experiences. Victoria SDK. Target and tracking like that. That is what we have. So now that I got everything, what I'm going to do is actually go to my template and I want to actually make a preview picture now. And so what I'll do is I will use instead of AR camera, I'll use the game view and then I'll go through and make this a uh, landscape. Landscape. There you go. And then I'll take my AR camera and I'll just uh, move it down closer to where I want, probably like right there. And actually, with the ground plane, eh, yeah, I'll worry about that later. But, so I go through, everything is where I want it to be. Go here, game view, take Snapchat. So now we have an icon right there. And so I'll have all my, my dependencies and everything here. I don't think that I need to change. I don't need to have Vuforia engine right there, but everything looks good. And so now this is our template. And so what we could do to test it out is we go to new scene and you'll see here, we have our Vuforia AR template. We have an empty, we have a basic built-in and we have a new one right here. So I can hit create and go to scenes and I could say, AR template to save it. It should create a new scene for me like this with all of my, with all of my dependencies and I'll download it, open it up and there we go. And there we go. And so that is how we create our AR template scene. So again, you know, let me know in the comments, everything, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I will catch you on the flip side for another tutorial. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you want to get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon. And if you haven't already, Go ahead and join the Discord because there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool conversations, and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects. And be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.